Meanwhile, concerns of a possible surge in COVID-19 cases has prompted leaders in Douglas County to change the rules for bars. 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling has more on the rules and why it could force some businesses to close permanently. The County Health Department here in Lawrence says is in order to help control the spread of the virus. However, businesses here say it's in another burden in an already tough year. In the business is closed. That is a drag. Each of those days is a tough one for A Street Tap Room owner Jeremy Seidner. Closed since March 15th. The marks on the window represents each day he's been closed and may not survive much longer. Maybe about two more months. This new order from Lawrence Douglas County Health forces bars and restaurants to stop selling all alcohol by 9 p.m. and close no later than 10 p.m., though food can still be delivered or carried out. Those seated outside will also have to leave by 10 p.m. My greatest hope is that we are able to open the bars in a safe way so that people can have a semblance of a normal life. Especially for KU students, says Sonia Jordan, the director of informatics at Lawrence Douglas County Public Health, as classes are now in session. We have to set very close parameters to make sure that that is done in a manner that is um, safe for them. They can get sick from COVID. Others we spoke with think it's a reasonable request. You know, I mean, use common sense instead of just going out and you know, partying all the time. We should probably just start being more considerate to others and follow the precautions a little bit more closely. Though for business owners like Seidner, he doesn't see the point in the order. Honestly, I'm kind of scratching my head about it. I don't really understand it. He says those visiting the bars will just find another place to party. Prohibition like this will cause startup parties and stuff off campus that will not be able to regulate. When people go to a bar, they have to adhere to the rules of the bar. Reporting in Lawrence, Nick Starling, 41 Action News.